Hey guys, this is Tyler. You're listening to another episode of Fight Stories, brought to you by our good friends at Absolute Nature CBD. Head over to AbsoluteNatureCBD.com, use the promo code GOONSQUAD, you're going to hook yourself up with 20% off all of their 100% natural CBD oil products, courtesy of Absolute Nature CBD and the Sunshine Boys at Fight Stories. Now guys, we came out of the gates like a Brahma bull on season two, episode three, no different. We're still firing on all cylinders, baby, and you're going to want to check this one out. If you're a boxing fan, this is the one for you. We have five-time world champion boxer, Vinny Paz. Vinny the Pazmanian Devil, Pazienza, baby. And it's such a treat for us to bring this episode to you guys because we <laughs> had heard the story. We heard he was a, a comedy fan. So we're like, okay, this could be a real good fit. And uh, we're like, okay, let's try and get this episode on the way back from uh, our tour. So on the way back up from uh, interviewing Doug the Thug, we're going through Rhode Island. We're like, hey, let's just stop off at Vinny Paz's. He gave us his address. So uh, we're wheeling up there. And our buddy, Owen Bonus, who sits in on this episode because I couldn't be there, um, on our way up, Owen texts John. He goes, listen, you guys aren't just going to roll up on Vinny Paz's house, right? Like, this guy's a wild card. He might just punch you in the face. <laughs> and that made me even more excited for the episode. I've never seen John uh, so trepidatious ringing a doorbell in my life, and rightfully so. This guy is an absolute weapon. And if you've ever heard his story, it is one of the most inspirational underdog uh, stories is maybe the greatest comeback story in boxing, possibly sports. I've never heard anything like this. They even made a movie about it. It's called Bleed for This. It's a great accompanying piece to this episode. Guys, I'm not going to drag it out much longer. You just got to get into this. Strap yourselves in and enjoy the fucking living legend, Vinny Paz. <laughs> You're listening to Fight Stories. All right. Welcome to another episode of Fight Stories. This is a big episode. We are in the house of five-time champion, Vinny Paz. (laughs) (laughs) You motherfuckers are already funny. (laughs) All right, this is a big one. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is good. This is great. Uh, my my normal co-host, Tyler's up in Canada, filling in for me is a boxing aficionado and my good friend, Owen Bonus. Thank you for having me. Thanks yeah. for having us, Paz. I'm this glad, is awesome. This I'm is glad, awesome. I'm glad Tyler's gone. Yeah, fuck that guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're a comedian. I'd rather talk to you any yeah. day of the week. <laughs> Tyler's a real funny comic, too. But uh, I'll be the judge of that. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> but me, on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen. Ben, we've been trying to do this. I was, I've been hounding you for months. I was stalking your house. I actually came by your house the last time and was knocking on your door. And you were in Baltimore at the time. Yes, yes. Uh, but I'm glad we could hook up today. Was that yes. the time that, that the pipes and all the water shit Absolute, broke down? Absolutely. God yeah. damn it. So, so you know what? Then this could be, this could mean like you guys have bad luck for me. <laughs> well, hopefully the pipes will stay that. together. Yeah. <laughs> I should have never said that. Um, so we walk in immediately. Uh, we see the five belts. We see the poster from the movie. Yes, cool, Believe cool. For this, you got a ton of awesome paraphernalia, memorabilia, memorabilia. It's, yeah, it's nuts. Paraphernalia sounds like drugs. Yeah, memorabilia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you got a picture with Trump. You got pictures with Stallone. You got yeah. pictures with a bunch of stars. You have and, and you, you Hefner's a big one. Eddie Murphy was awesome. Right. Yeah. So fighting's been good to you. Yeah, fighting's been good. I, it's just what I wanted to do my whole life. Did you grow up scrapping? That's all I wanted to do. Well, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I loved a guy when I was just five years old. And so crazy right. how things turn out. I loved this guy when I was five years old called Muhammad Ali. Sure. And and go figure, I grow up to to win five world titles, you know. That how how lucky can I get? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's been it's been good. I could die like as soon as you guys leave. I'm cool. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. You oh, you're cool as shit, dude. Look at all these pictures, I'm man. Lucky. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. lucky. In fact, it might be the, the perfect time to die. <laughs> yeah, you, you're Stretch right. Out another 20, it, it's it coming. Cl- oh, exactly. <laughs> it's coming. Cl- I ain't seeing 60. I'm telling you guys right now. You go, oh shit! If my fucking told me he wasn't gonna see 60. Yeah, like that. I'm, I'm good. I could like literally. I done. I done. 
I done what yeah a million people couldn't have done. I got lucky and I got I I was strong and, and I worked hard. So you but were, got you're, lucky. I mean, you were like a natural athlete growing up. Absolutely, um, yeah. I was I was and, yeah. I played all correct, things when I if I was I'm bigger. Yeah, you were you were playing basketball. If, if I was bigger, sport. I I wouldn't I wouldn't even I I wish I'm I am lucky. I'm just lucky. I'm lucky in life. I, I grew up to be the right size, just not to be not big enough to go to football because I would have played football. I loved right. football. And I just loved boxing, and that's what I did, and I was pretty good at it. So your dad in the movie was Bleed for This, the movie that just came out recently. Yes, yes. Um, which was awesome. I watched it last night. It was my an wife awesome again. movie. Did you? Did you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was really good. Um, and Miles did a great job. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he even played me so good because I wasn't with him all that much, you know. And he just got he it nailed, down. Yeah, he nailed it because there's so much shit on the on the on the computer, you know. You know what? He moved pretty well. Usually, he you watch a boxing yeah, movie and you're did. like, "Oh, yeah, these guys did. didn't even work at this." They, but they like, had to edit it, you know, a lot. In, you know, do different angles with the cameras because you know he's not a boxer. He's he's a, he's a he's an actor. He's an actor. Yeah. yeah, but he did a good job. Did a great job. And. Playing me like I watched him do things and the, the mannerisms of him and and like right off the top of my head, who slaps the the fucking Las Vegas commissioner of boxing in the ass? Right. You know, <laughs> I, I slapped him in the ass after I got off the fucking scale. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, because I was so excited to make the weight. And that's in that fight. Here's, see, here's another story. I got stories after stories. Different episodes, different pitches. I'll tell you different stories. <laughs> yeah. After the that Roger one, Mayweather fight, the Roger Mayweather fight, I'm I'm all psyched. I had to go. Like that was what you saw there was like nothing compared to what it was like. I um I couldn't make the weight 140. I couldn't fucking right. make the weight. I got on and off the scale three times. So I finally make the weight. All right, I'm happy as hell now. I I'm I'm loading up back up. I I went. I walked to the ring when I was ready to walk out to the ring. I had five. Wait, listen to this one. You, this is a good one. I had coffee break. I had five, <laughs> five. Oh God, fights, and those fights were. Oh God, please let this motherfucker have a bad night because I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I. I'm this. I'm. I'm not gonna be good. This. And this is, is walking to the ring, or you're like walking to the ring. Walking walk to, into the ring. to the ring. Walking to the ring. I had five old God fights, and and you know what? And I say, God let me live, because I, I could have died after all of them. Like after the Mayweather fight, I was so dehydrated. I I almost died. Yeah. I almost passed away. And and I, literally, I'm really like not like the most religious person in the world, but. I was laying down on, they had an IV in my left arm and IV in my right arm. And if I got lucky, I had great parents. If I didn't have, if I didn't have the parents I had, I, would, I don't think I would have won one world title. But my father was with me everywhere. Came with me to the hospital. Duvis was nowhere to be found, like you saw in the movie. Yeah. And they, they said, yeah. hey, you know, you, I, I said, hey, I, got an, I want another fight. Give me another fight. And they're like, you know, you always you always go in the hospital after every fight. Sure, yeah. They go and they go, We're always going to the hospital after every fight. And my father goes, Oh yeah, I never saw you there. They were never there. Right. The of course not. They were yeah, never yeah. there. Is that right. Kathy Duva now? Did she inherit that? Yeah, she inherited it from uh, Lou and Dan. Yeah, and your father. But 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 let me let me go yeah. into into the ring. The old God fights. I got I got lucky, I blessed, I crossed my fingers. And do a sign of the cross against, and I, I I was laying on the table, IV in both arms, and I literally was saying, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go. I, w I was going in in this. I never saw this uh, or anything like this in my life. I was going up and up and up through the whitest, brightest clouds, white like white white. And I was going up and up and up, and I said, and I was laying there going, fuck it. You know what? I'm going to die. I, fuck, I got dropped for the first time in my life. I was so embarrassed. That was the first time you hit the deck? Yeah. I was so embarrassed, and, and, and I, I just I couldn't believe it. And everyone was there. You know what I mean? You sure. Hefner was in the front row. <laughs> Schwarzenegger was there. Stallone Damn. was there. Every, everybody was there. It was huge because I was the co-feature to Sugar Ray Leonard 
versus Donnie Lalonde. Okay. Remember that fight? I don't. Years ago? Well, anyways, it was, I was the co-feature. I got I got killed. I couldn't do anything in the fight. And um Should you have not been in that weight class at that point? No, oh god. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, but but the Duvis put yeah, yeah. It's, you know, they wanted you to believe that you got to make this weight cuz they had fighters in each each weight class, you know. Uh. So they made me I had to make 135, then I had to make 140, which I couldn't. And it's probably very unhealthy to be dropping Un- like this unhealthy. And trying to get your I was ass almost in there. I w- I almost died. Right. That's unhealthy. That's right, it was right, right. I died almost died of dehydration. <laughs> like now, I was going up and up to white fucking clouds, like whiter than life. Were you- and I, I was like, "Holy shit." I, and then I was like, I, fuck it, I'm going. If, like I told you, if my father was not with me, yeah. the nurse said to him, and I could hear her. She, you know, she said, "Mr. Pazienza, we're losing your son. He's only got one heartbeat every six to eight seconds." When she said that to my father, if if my father wasn't there, this wouldn't be happening right, right. now. Yeah. My father grabbed my shirt that I had on. He started shaking me violently, like shaking me, and and you know, I heard it like champ. I don't care, you lost. Don't do this. And boom, the clouds went away. And I came back down. That was it. And I, I lived. But and how nuts Incredible. the story That's is that? That's a wild story. Incredible. That's nuts. That's crazy. And then, and then uh, I finally met up with, you know, I love the guy. And, and, and I'm so sorry he's got um, Alzheimer's now. My it was my man. He, he t- uh, coached Tyson. Kevin Rooney was mm-hmm. awesome. Saw the movie. Yeah, yeah, yep. And that was Aaron and Eckhart. My, Aaron Eckhart, yeah. And Aaron did such a great job. Yeah. And I'll tell you the story. Remind me Put the story. Put on a nice little belly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Listen, listen to the story. Listen to the story. It's a good yeah. one. So, anyways, um, if yeah, if, if I if Kevin didn't make me move up, I went to the gym and beat. In the movie, it shows some big white kid. It really was. His name was Muta. A, a, a rough black brother cool guy i loved muta it was awesome tough as nails he was like a marvin Hagler. that's okay. what he looked like yep so when when i'm when i go in there the first time to the gym with um with kevin rooney he throws me in there with muta so i he takes muta out of the ring after three rounds we were gonna go five i beat beat his ass I go and I work out after. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the speed bag. I'm jumping rope. I'm doing sit-ups. I'm doing exercise. I'm drenched. I'm drenched. And Kevin goes, come on. Let's go. Let's see what you weigh. And he says, eh, I don't, I don't have to see what I weigh. He says, what do you mean, Vinny? Come on. Let me see what you weigh. So that's where that thing happened where he said, where, <laughs> where the, he puts the thumb up. He goes, I love that line. Welterweight? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Nobody jumps to, all right, so Nobody jumps to weight classes. I was saying this to John. <laughs> so last weekend, this is just to show you what a big thing this is for him to be successful doing that. Yeah. Mikey Garcia moves up to fight Errol Spence. Errol Spence is a stud. He can really punch. He's big for 147 anyway. Mikey Garcia is 39 and 0, moves up two weight classes, doesn't win around. Somebody told me that. Around. Somebody told me that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't win around. Yeah. Shut right. up. And and took a beating in the process. So for Yeah. And what del- we're talking del- about here is delay like a, was a badass. He yeah. was 30. He was undefeated in 30 he fights. He could put a lot of guys to sleep too. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, he could hit. He was a big puncher. So let me ask you this: the oh god moments, right? So you got those. You got oh god moments are Greg Haugen two, Greg Haugen two, because I beat him one and three. He's a twat. <laughs> title He's, fights, right? <laughs> yeah, all title fights. He's a bitch, though. I don't. I, got, <laughs> I I'll, I'll meet him any day in any park in any <laughs> fucking country. I hate that I love kid. It. I love it. All right, so Haugen. Two was one oh god fight. Loretto Garza was another oh god fight. Mayweather, Aaron Davis, and Roy Jones. Right. Yeah. So you, not not bad. You know, and yeah, it's not yeah, bad. Yeah. Out of out of sixty How fights. How old were you when you fought Jones? Thirty, I think thirty three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was and he was unbelievable. He was fast as lightning. Those reflexes were unbelievable. And, and not only did I fight him. I fight him right before he won the fucking heavyweight championship of the world. Moved right. up to fight Ruiz. Moved Remember up to that? fight Ruiz. Yeah. And Ruiz is no joke. He Stopped beat Holyfield him, twice. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> yeah, no joke. Did you have the other set of mentality, though, on some nights where you're going to the ring and you go, you're not fucking touching me? Absolutely. Yeah. Most of oh, my yeah. God. 50 yeah. times. In, in, yeah. In, um, well, yeah. In, uh, in, um, in Haugen, Haugen 2. I I just knew the whole thing. I I it, it was cool. Like I was even tan for the fucking fight. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you could yeah. you, just everything went right for that one. I even had a tan. I'm like, this is pretty really fucking cool. <laughs> like, like Stallone in Rocky Four when he's training in the mountains and he shows up with a tan to fight uh, <laughs> yeah. to, to fight Ivan Drago. Well, I mean, there's a there's a couple of things. How many fights do you think? That you got that you you weren't gonna win if you didn't knock this guy out, you know? Did you just sort of gut out? I mean, you talked about the the fight that that lasted fifteen rounds. If it went twelve, you were losing. But yep. somehow, somehow, I pulled you know, it out of my ass. You took a lot of fucking punishment, and you seemed yeah. to almost enjoy it. Yeah, I um, lucky enough. I don't know. I um, I just was, I was very good at accepting pain. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, my whole life. Like, I played football with bigger guys. I was always the badass in the football field. I was captain of my defensive team in, in high school. Okay. You know, so if I, if I was bigger, I would have went, I would have been on the Patriots. But right. I'm glad I wasn't, you know. So it worked out. It worked out. Yeah, it worked out, it worked out pretty good. It worked out just fine. But, the, but there is something about, and, and I don't know if, that's, if this is, like, across champions, but there is something, and it's a crazy thing to go out there and take that much fucking pain and be able to work through it because anybody else would wicked, quit. wicked. It's, you know, I have no, quit I tell you, training. I, I tell you, I, I think about it every day. Like, yeah. I still I still work out every day. Do yeah. I do a little yeah, bit? Like I do a little bit. I do a little bit. I work out. I got a gym in my cellar. I walk up the stairs every day when I'm done. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes later, whatever it is, twenty minutes later. I walk up the stairs every day, and I and I say, Vinny Paz, how the fuck did you do it? How the fuck did you do it? I I was I was like an animal. I used to run through fucking buildings. It was nuts. Uh, it was crazy. If you were training, trained like a, a fucking animal. If you were training a kid now with a lot of talent, hits hard, really tenacious, and he has style like yours, would you try to coach him out of it? Would you try to show him maybe? Maybe a little more finesse, maybe a little more boxing, a little less tenacity, a little less blood and guts. Yeah, I would. I you would? would? I would. Yes, yeah. I would. Yeah. <laughs> Did you pay for that, man? You pay yeah. for that kind of. Yeah, I would. It's, um, you know, you, you, you please the crowd. You want to please the crowd. Yeah. And I was a crowd pleaser. Oh, yo, big time. Where the fuck are they now? Yeah. Where the fuck yep. are they now? No, no, no one's around. All my, all my buddies that I, I gave money to, took on trips, gave them tickets. I don't see none of them. Yeah. The whole I got all new friends. It's it's and nuts. you got the scars. Crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. It's crazy. It's I've, like that's life. The fight game is crazy. I have a friend of mine that's that's I've watched be in some really rough wars and took some injuries, and it's like, it's it is exciting. His yeah. fights are always fight of the night, but you're like, that's my he friend. Now? He's thirty two, thirty three. He's retired. Yeah, plate in his skull. Can't oh, get a license shit. to fight anymore. It was a headbutt coming off the ropes. Oh shit! So it took it took. It took everything from him. Whoa. Always the most exciting fight of the night, though. Of course. Yeah. But wow. you're like, dude, that's my buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, buddy getting paid up like super, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. You, you want to know what's yeah. funny? You're making me think of one of my fans, and he's actually a friend. Now he's not a fan. And a lot of my friends now were, were fans, hmm. believe it or not. But um, there's a dude in Sewickley, Sewickley, Pennsylvania. His name is Claudio Relsono. He says, you know, I don't know why all these guys want to see, like, oh, this is a great fight, this is a great fight. He says, I want to see you knock the guy out in the first round all the time. Yeah. He says, I don't want to see you take Get punishment. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's like, he's the only one that says that to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got, I, got, I got some great fans. I got fans that, I mean, they got tattoos of me on their body. Get they the got, fuck they out got of Pasmanian here. devils. They got fucking one, one dude here. Right. Pasmanian devil is a great fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah sure. You got it, man. You guys talk for a minute. Right. <laughs> this dude's wild. You got to see this to believe it. You got to see this. This is unbelievable. All right, you ready for yep. this? Uh -huh. Like, when, when I saw this, I was with my mother. Yeah. And I was going through mail at, at their house, you know? And I'm going through the mail, and my mother's 
smoking a cigarette and drinking a cup of coffee. And we're talking in between. I'm looking at the, the mail. And then I look at this one piece of mail that I get. And I look and I go, holy fucking shit. My mother goes, Vinny. And I go, I go, I go, I go Ma, no. When you see this, even you're going to swear. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fucking crazy. That's it's nuts. Right? It works too. <laughs> it, it looks cool. <laughs> oh, that's fucking crazy. I mean, I think and if you name your son, it's enough. This and that's got... Jimmy Whispers from fucking The Bronx Tale. Yeah, he's a douche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys can't see this at home. This guy said, "Vinny, it's a picture." Uh, Vinny's there in the picture, but he's got a full fucking his whole face across <laughs> his back. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not an headshot. And, and you can't even you can't even like you can't even explain that. It's, how, it's crazy. Like what, what was it? What, what was like the height of your fame? Like what, this how kid's long Russ Como, last? his name, really good kid, and mm. he's you know straight as an arrow. Yeah, wonder if he's covered it up. He, he's he's <laughs> not. He, no no no. I saw I saw him. I was with him a month ago. Um, two months ago, he's got a brother. Obviously, the whole fucking family's crazy. He's got a brother that has Jack Nichol Jack Nicholson on his calf. <laughs> so obviously, it runs in the that's family. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good company, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you're gonna, yeah, if you're gonna be tattooed on anybody. So the height of your, like, what's happening during the height of your fame? Like on the, you know, those pictures on the wall, all these people. How yeah, long did that it, last? That's like three years? No, fuck, much longer than that. Really? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, much longer. I won my, I won my first world title in uh, '87, uh -huh. and the party's been on since then. <laughs> <laughs> you still partying? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? I rock out almost every night. Dude, I hate I staying love, home. I, and, and your comeback story, it's uh, well documented and phenomenal. But I'm telling you. They're, yeah, there's a wild side that they didn't the touch. The wild side is the stuff I yeah, wanted they didn't, to come and they talk didn't, about, man. They didn't touch. They didn't you touch it. You staying up blowing 20 grand the night before the fight and then getting in the ring. I was yeah. like, I want to know more about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to totally. A lot of people have said that to me. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> they go, Vinny, sure. was that like real? I'm like, uh, yeah, very very real. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jordan was like that. Michael yeah. Jordan would stay up all night playing cards, especially with competition. Really? Yeah, he would love to wow. get somebody else in a room that was on the other team and just fucking grind him into the ground with cards. Wow. I didn't but know he that. was always ready to play the next day. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> My God, was he ever. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what about... What you about know, one of the greats, and in, in, in as, great, as great as LeBron James is, his numbers are like not even close to Michael Jordan's. Did you know that? I, I found that amazing. I just saw it. One of my friends showed it to me last week. He said, Vinny, look look at LeBron James' numbers. Look at my, Michael Jordan's. Jordan's was like like almost double his. Yeah. I, 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 just, I don't know. I've seen some numbers that where they can make the argument. But there is. But you cannot deny that Michael Jordan had a killer instinct. You can't deny the hardware either. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. That, that LeBron just doesn't, that just LeBron just doesn't possess. Like that competitive, that yeah. competitive nature. I love that story about Jordan where guys would go to his basketball camp and be like, you get to play one-on-one -on -one with Jordan. And Jordan is just kicking the shit out of these guys <laughs> who have spent $25,000 to come down and shake his hand. Like, you're not scoring a bucket, buddy. Boom! <laughs> That's good. That's Do you good. miss that level of competition? Do you miss being around the gym at all? Nah. You don't miss the... You don't miss... Nah. Really? Yeah, because I've done it my whole life. Yeah, you squeezed it out. You squeezed every drop of juice every, out of that every orange. Every drop I got, yeah. So I, the way it was... I started going... I started getting in my 30 wins, 30... You know, I started getting to 39, around 35. And then I said, 37, 38, 39. I said, you know what? I, I got to I gotta get the 50 wins. I ain't, I'm not quitting until I get the 50 wins. Did you have Marciano in your mind with that, with that number? No, but it just was a cool yeah. number. Right. You know, it, it would... Not, not many people do that. Um... You know, today in boxing, Floyd. It's, yeah, right, right. Not, and there's not too many Floyds. No, right. You know, he he, he was he's he's, a, he's another one. I I like him. You know, he's always cool with me. Yeah. You know, but you know, he is what he is. Did your old man box at all? No, no, no. He was a great he soccer like a player. This is a tough guy. He was a badass. Mm. Nobody nobody fucked with my father. He um, he was awesome, awesome, and. I had he he was he was awesome. If it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't have won one world title. I wouldn't. I don't, 
I don't know what I would have done it oh. without my my mother and my father were, were incredible, and um, my father was a badass, and I I get it from him. Like the, so, like a neighborhood tough guy. Let me let me tell you this. Himself. All right, let me tell you this. All right, here's I'm gonna tell you too sorry, and then remind me, tell you about my mother. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Remind me. Tell me. Tell you a story about my mother. Uh, all right, <laughs> my father. Now you guys are gonna. This is great. Well, not not too many people know this. Um, and it's funny. I, yesterday I went out with, uh, with a couple of good friends of mine from the beginning. They've been good friends. The Chibolas, um, Chibol, uh, um, Chibol, and his kid Giovanni. They're like the only two that that are still with me now. It, it, you know what? And it's funny. I swear to God, I sent this picture. Hey, hold this. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, well, now take a break to go to commercial. Quick intermission. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Absolute Nature CBD, premium, 100% natural CBD oil and CBD oil products. There are no GMOs, preservatives, additives, coloring, synthetics, chemicals, or MSG, and it's made right here in the good old U.S. of A. They offer a heavy discount for first responders, veterans, and people with long-term disability, but uh, we're going to offer you a discount just for listening, a little Fight Stories Goon Squad discount. Type in the promo code Goon Squad at checkout at www.absolutenaturecbd, and you get a 20% discount, and you're helping out the Sunshine Boys. We call that a win-win. Talking about, talking about, um, talking about uh, Chibol. Okay, this here was the greatest guy in the world for me. There's me, Kevin Rooney. Loved yep. him. Yep. Loved him. He was. He also was looks best. like Mr. Belding from. This guy, Chibol, little Italian guy. He came in. He, he used to drive me to to workouts every day. Drive me home. Take me everywhere. All these other guys are douchebags. All these, all these <laughs> Italian douchebags. And those guys are neighborhood guys just getting in on the action? Yeah, well, um, this one was like a cousin, which I don't tell nobody because I'm like, really, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And, and this guy was married to my sister, and I think he married her because I was her brother. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's worse than the tattoo on the and back. These two guys <laughs> here, two douchebags, I, I don't see no more. Nice and give them tickets front row getting all kind of things take them on vacations with me just it's just so nuts but me and this guy are the only two survivors and and i just i had lunch with him today mm. oh that's cool yeah with him and his kid today nice and now his kids my, my buddy yeah now his kids his kids 37 now wow. you know in like he <laughs> i tell him both times you know you're getting too old for me to hang out with you know, uh, um, uh, I gotta it's hang out. With, right. I gotta hang out with your kid. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's not cool for my status to hang out with somebody in their sixties. <laughs> but this picture is not cool when you're banging one. chicks in their thirties. In the thirties, my chick's twenty three. What are you talking about? <laughs> in the thirties, that's fucking phenomenal. Shit, my chick's twenty three. <laughs> Hello, thirties. Oh my god. Yeah. God bless you. That's amazing. <laughs> You're yeah. still the champ. You're still the champ. I, I've been I'm, I've been blessed. I got uh, I, I don't know the, this that guy. That thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank so you, you got you got the a good broken one. neck, five world titles, fifty fucking wins. Fuck. So he you, gave me. He's 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 done. He's going well and farther than he should have yeah, ever. Yeah, you're gone a little bit me. of a favorite. Let me ask Crazy. you. So you got a good mom, good dad, loving family at home. And you end up in the fight game. Usually you hear the story's different. Right. right. It's no yeah. dad. And yeah. they're in the gym because it's better than the street. And I was a great athlete. And this was the option. Right. But they were cool with boxing as a, as a pursuit. Obviously, when you showed some promise, that changes things. But Yeah. Yeah. And my, my mother taped every fight. She never watched one. She never watched one fight that I lost. Never. Oh, really? It, but she watched the ones that I won. 50 fights. 50 fights. She probably watched them. Maybe. Eh, maybe a good hundred thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so proud. Yeah. What's the story about your mom? She. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, see, good. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Good, good, good. That yeah, you're supposed to have a good fucking memory. <laughs> it's the only yeah. thing I've contributed right now to this you didn't, get, you didn't get hit in, <laughs> you didn't get hit in the ring your whole life. You should have a good memory. Yeah. And you're a comedian, so you have to have yeah, a good yeah, memory. Yeah, yeah. Hope it'll be a little quick. All right. Listen to this one. 
my little mother, and toughness is just in you. You know what I mean? Tough. You, you know, you gotta. I'm banging the heart right now. Uh -huh. When you're tough, you're just tough. And between my father and my mother, one day my mother, she walked. She never drove a car. One day, little little Wheezy Louise walked up to the stop and shop two blocks up the street, and she gets two bags of laundry, well, of, of uh, um, groceries, and she's walking back. When she's, when she the the stop and shop was like four blocks up. She gets two blocks up, she falls on the curb, and she falls, breaks her knee in six places. Gets up. Puts the fucking groceries back in the bag, walks two blocks down the street, climbs up two stairs to get to the to the top of the room to cook my dad dinner. She makes my dad dinner, serves it to him. She sits down, waits till my father's done eating, and then says, Angela, will you take me to the hospital, please? My knee's killing me. The doctor, <laughs> the doctor says... This is unbelievable. She did what? <laughs> yeah, Doc, she walked home. He said, Vinny, I see this all the time with football players, big muscle-bound football players. They get taken off the field in stretches. Yeah. Your mother's an animal. That's, <laughs> that's tough. Worse, that's, I guess that's where you get it. That's You're asking the about the pain before. That's the Actually, where do you yeah. think it is where that's, you're able to get up off that's the That's nuts. Yeah, Jamal. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you see Tyson Fury go down earlier this year? Yeah, and that's that's just that was in him, like he just woke up and sat up, like he just had yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, just that grit, you know, uh -huh. like grit. Yeah, good word. Yeah, it's crazy. Just grit. Yeah, and what and what is grit? Yeah, it's toughness. Let me ask you about the picture, because the picture of the 25-year anniversary, you got all those great fighters in that picture, and you know, amongst them is Stallone. And I read somewhere or listened somewhere. That you were a kid and watched Rocky and you were like, that's it. That's what I want to be. I want to yeah. be a boxer. Yeah. How does Stallone, like, how is he such a marquee presence in the boxing world? It's a goddamn movie. <laughs> it, was just, it was just a movie, but it was so good. Yeah. So inspiring. So, I don't know what it was, but yeah. But I mean, it's You're funny right. it's like 50 years later. It's 50, yeah. 50 now? 40. I'm yeah. 40. 40 years later. So, yeah, 79, you know, 80, something like that, right? 77 it 77, came out. okay. Yeah. So yeah. 42... Every other goddamn thing on Instagram, like these boxing guys are posting Stallone. I'm like, he's a guy, an actor. He's an actor. But right. there's no, but there's no denying. See, the, see, my the movie feeling he got walking out of that place. My movie, because I had two of the douchebaggest, rotten. How how much can you swear on this? As much, much as, as you, you like. Oh, dear, please. <laughs> two of the most rotten douchebag motherfuckers in the history of the cunt world, and these two guys. If I ever see them, if I ever see this one dude, yeah. From here, from Rhode Island, he's yeah, this kid. His name, he's fucking such a motherfucking thief. So you still fucking guys up? Chad Verde. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I still chuck rockets, bro. Oh, yeah, I still chuck rockets, bro. Every day. Yeah, yeah. In, 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 oh, in, in, I always think too. Do you see why are you doing this? Cause you never know. That's, That's why. Cause you never know. That's why you do it. That's why I do it. Yeah. Cause you never know. One day, if I run into this dude, I'm prepared very well. <laughs> yeah. I in in today in so today's era, film. today's era, now all this MMA shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will chuck rockets at you. I'll, I'll hit you in the head twenty times in in five seconds, and then I'll choke you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've mixed in a little choking into yes. the mix. Oh yeah. Oh, you got to do it. You got to do it today. Yeah. You got to go with the times. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> I'll headlock you right now and get you right out of that's, here. That's my fear, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're describing it exactly. <laughs> so you're proud of the movie? You like the way I, it worked it, out? It went. It was awesome. And yeah. you know what? I'd rather have a, a good movie than money every day, any day. Yeah, no, it was I, great. You know, like I got screwed on the movie. and But, you know, I, I don't even give a shit. The movie was fucking awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I, I still I still I I still watch it. Yeah. But there are times where I have to watch it, you know, when I'm, I'm at parties, places. You know, I'm sure. a, I'm going some um I'm going uh I'm going down to Florida for the WBC and, and they might um show 
the movie to the people that I'm going there for, uh-huh. um, which is really cool. And so I got I had to sit through that movie like. Uh, 10,000 times but it's still cool I still like it I mean listen it's also a great way to have like your legend live on and people learn about you otherwise yeah. everybody else yeah. you gotta sit there and read a Wikipedia totally. and start to yeah. piece things <clears throat> together totally. when, I'm, when feel, I'm dead that'll fucking it'll yeah. still be selling but I did but the thing and again it was like to me I was like I wanna know the backstory man I wanna know the wild shit cause it started at that point and I was like well how the hell did he get here to be this wild absolutely. this wild man yeah absolutely um like Two you, things you, I want to know. You saw in the room, you know, yeah. there's like a couple of pretty women around. Yeah. And they, Has that ever been problematic? They, um, <laughs> they go, they go from, from, they go from working Dunkin' Donuts to stripping to porn stars. To, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's my life so, I'm so cool. Like, I never, I never complain. Yeah. I, there's a ton of bad things happening to me now. I don't complain. Yeah, I've had so many good things happen. A little water complain. damage, no big deal. Water damage, whatever. Yeah, yeah you can handle yeah. that. You know what you guys showed the movie? We talked about it a little bit earlier. That I don't even think you could get an active fighter right now to go on record is just the dirt that you got to deal with, like the stuff that you dealt with. Yeah. That they show like from the Dubas. Right. And I like how those deals were getting negotiated in the bunk beds of that room. Oh fuck, that made me laugh. I was like, where are they talking this conversation? But they're the thing is, man, you're talking about people like that are. Like going in there and risking their body and their future, and they're just—it's just numbers. It's yeah, just numbers. Just to numbers these guys. To, some, to, yeah. to them, it's just numbers. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. Yeah, it's, you're right. And, and like a, a fighter, a real fighter, don't think like that, you know? Because I never thought about money, nothing. I just wanted to fight. Yeah, it was cool. The money, great. I would have took less every fight. I like. I I, I was like. You're gonna give me a hundred thousand to fucking beat this guy up? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, but even to cool. get those opportunities, right. you have to swim in shit. Oh yeah. You know. Absolutely. Oh Vin, we'd love to give you the title fight, but we're gonna need you to bump up two weight classes and fight right. this kid. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You're the choice to fight Roy Jones. It's just or Duran. Right. Duran was fighting. the baddest motherfucker right. on the planet. Yeah. Hey, you know what? See, Roy Jones, fast as lightning, sharp as a tack, great fighter, won the heavyweight championship of the world. Fucking Roberto Duran hit me harder than anybody ever in my life. I, sh- you know me, you know me, you know me rounds of sparring I've done right. with. I've I used to spar with heavyweights. I spar with everybody, right. light heavyweights, middleweights, lightweights. I fought everybody and felt everybody's punches. When when this guy hit me for the first time, I went. Get the fuck out of here! No, no way! No, this, this is, this is no. Wait a minute! No, Pazman, you didn't feel that like that. You didn't feel. Move around, warm up, warm up. You get, yeah, get warm. You won't feel it. It's the first round. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was yeah. the first round. Yeah. 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 The first time he hit it. me with a shot, but I went, get the punch? fuck out of here. I said, no fucking way. No, it wasn't like a punch, like you get hit with a normal punch. It was like a boom. It was a, it was like a big like thud every time. That man hit me. Every time that man like touched me, it was unbelievable. His his like they call my hands of stone. I don't know how they know. I was watching that uh, fight, and it's like you are so like you're moving and you're fast and you're s- 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 yeah. and he's just coming in and he's like stalking and it right. almost looks like yeah. it's slow motion, but somehow totally. he's doing it's, it anyway. Like so, he's delivering it anyway. See see how like Roy Jones is so dynamically fast. Yeah. It's unbelievable. But it was he didn't hit like Duran hit, mm. you know. And Duran was older when I fought him. He's in his forties when I fought him. Mm. Imagine when he was like twenty five, twenty nine. I was like, holy shit, man. The the I don't know if it's fucking weights the that we he put on the weight and he hit harder. I don't know what wait, but that dude was he was unbelievable. I think that punching power is just, and this is from a fan perspective, obviously is. It's like a baseball player that throws 100 miles an hour. Absolutely. Either you can do it or Either you, you can can't it teach it. 1,000. 1,000. Yeah. Like, like it, you're right. Just what you say. How many guys out there throw 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour? They can't throw. Come on, man. You can get yeah. up to 100. Right? Yeah, I can't. But they can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When they come to you with the Duran fight, What's the reaction at the time? Are you like, fuck yeah, this is it. Oh, this yeah. is what I want. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did your heart sink a little? Oh, yeah. A little? Like, just, I, a, uh, just, just a little. A little. <laughs> because... because because I did grow up watching my love. Sure, it. yeah. I grew up watching them, you know, and it was fucking animals and stuff. But, yeah, there's a little, a little. <laughs> but I was like, oh, this is great. This is great. Oh, this is, oh my God, it's a ton of money. But 
God, he hits hard. <laughs> yeah, he's a badass. Oh my like, no, God! No, 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 but this is great. Yeah, yeah, stuff yeah that? totally. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. That's just how it went. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is going to be good. So when we walked in, I was, you know, Owen is very familiar. He's fucking went to school out here in Providence. And my experience with here is just jumping into the comedy connection and getting my nose broken at hell with the headbutt. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. That night, the that, night of, that night of the comedy show? It was a comedy show night. It was after night. one, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For no, sure. No, when you got your head busted. Yeah. Yeah, it was after a show. After we, the show, you went. I to, went to that place, hell, and then I got my nose broken, and then I, <laughs> and we then used I to do the shows out. together, and we go do the town. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. But you said that you threw a headbutt at a guy. What was that about? What's some, so? What are, what are some of the outside the ring antics? He said, and and believe it or not, I'm still friends with the kid. <laughs> It's because he's a moron. Because <laughs> if anybody did that to me, yeah. I, they're not going to see me. <laughs> Bye-bye. You know, but this fucking idiot, he still comes around just because I'm Vinny Paz. No big deal. But yeah. he, um, he said something. He's trying about, to get a little cast off said, hot pussy. <laughs> he said something about one of the girls. I said something about a girl that I was seeing at the time. This was about five years ago. And um, I said something. I said, oh, fucking whore. I could, I could kill her and everything. And he goes, eh, fuck that little horse. She's a little slut anyways. What the fuck you doing with her for? She's a piece of shit. I said, what'd you just say? <laughs> I went, boom! I said, motherfucker, I can say that. You can't. As he was, <laughs> as he was bleeding with a broken nose. <laughs> fuck, fuck you to talk to me like that. Like, shit. I didn't talk about my mother or something. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Boom. <laughs> Yeah, you were just blowing off steam. He wasn't going to say that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, go whoa, in the whoa. kitchen, make yourself a sandwich. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask you a re- weird Rhode Island question. The wise guys ever try to get involved with the Absolutely. camps and stuff when like I, that? When I was a kid. Yeah, when awesome. I was a kid. And then my father. Did your my dad father, know what was up? My fa- oh, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, of course. Oh, my God. My father was, was the main Italian man in the fucking state for a while. He, he They all tried to get to my father to get to me. And oh. he he was he was unbelievable. Did you have to work with them to get the fights early on? Nope, nope, nope. Didn't nope. didn't go through none of that's them. Good. But that's good. That's funny you say that because not many people say that. They know know that is right. here. That, that that's even a question. Yeah, that's even a question. Yeah. yeah. yeah but you're right though. It, that was in. Let me see. When'd you turn pro? Eighty three. I turned pro in eighty three. What are you? 80? 76, 77, 78. They started coming around when I started winning, winning amateur okay. f- amateur titles. My my first fight was on NBC. I was on the Wide World of Sports. I, I really I won I won the the Olympic the Olympic Sports Festival, mm. which was a big thing back I then. I remember the Wide World of Sports. Yeah. NBC, remember yeah, when the yeah, yeah, when yeah. the skier went off the side and fell off? The, off do you remember that? <laughs> no, no, no. 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 I just that. remember the coming on, man. I, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? All right, what else are we talking about? Man, I actually think we got to wrap much, it. How much do you guys, how often do you go on? Like, what is this on? When can I tell my, my yeah. PR girl? We're probably, yeah. oh, yeah. Probably yeah. yeah. We're, we're probably, we're loading up episodes for season two right now, so we're probably like a couple of months out. We're just cool. running around collecting yeah. different stories from different dudes. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, um, you got a story. You got you got multiple stories from Vinny Paz. No, dude, this is five dude, time pumped. world champion. We're pumped. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and my PR girl Zena warrior is the bomb. She yeah, is a warrior, warrior princess. princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really great. is. God, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't. I may not even be here if you guys. You guys wouldn't be here. Yeah. It's like if my father didn't kill the Nazi. We're not here. <laughs> not here. How do we not get that story? My my mother didn't do it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Little Wheezy. Yeah. Well, champ, <laughs> thank you so awesome. much for having us for having us here. I awesome. feel like we could come back and do another one. There, we we just we scratch the surface. Scratch the surface. The yeah. tip of the tip of the iceberg. Absolutely. You were kind of getting there champ, when, when, you, when you were asking questions about the Playboy Mansion. You were almost getting there. Ah, no. But hey, see, you ah, guys blew it. Dude, we got to do one where we don't even talk about boxing. It's going to be impossible because you've done more shit than Forrest Gump <laughs> over here. So oh, we yeah. got to ask about the wild. Forrest Gump stories. ain't got yeah. shit on me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, quick. Can you just give us one wild night at the Playboy Mansion? Since oh, yeah. Okay. You, let me tell you this. I went to the Playboy Mansion 
<laughs> which is a dream. Which is a goddamn yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah, I had is. two career highlights I wanted. Playboy Mansion, he's dead. And Howard Stern. Providence Comedy Howard Stern. Oh, I did I did Howard Stern twice. See? There Keep talking. Go. And I got stories. <laughs> Keep and talking. And then a 23-year-old. <laughs> I did Howard Stern show twice. Awesome. Once, once with Andrew Dice Clay and... Um, once with Chuck Zito. I don't know if you know who he is. I know Chuck oh, Zito. Yeah. is the Hell's yeah. Angel. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. Good guy. I, li- I like Chuck. All right, what else were we talking about? Playboy, Playboy Mansion. Mansion. <laughs> Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Come on, man. See? Sorry, I jumped a, out of the chair a little you bit. Guys, you guys. I'm going to stand for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right lay it on me, Pass. All right, listen to this. <laughs> I swear to God, if I'm lying, I'm dying. The first time I went, I was in my 30s in... When I was in my 30s, I looked like I was in my 20s. Uh. Um, I'm lucky. I, I, I went to my high school reunion, and I'm, I, I'm looking at some of the dudes. Yeah. I'm going, dude, why the fuck do I look better than you? I get, I get, get beat up my head. whole fucking yeah. life. What's wrong with you? What happened to you? Did you fight Duran? So no, you didn't. <laughs> I did. So many, so many guys. I'm so lucky. I'm yeah. so blessed you know, that I am looking, that feel and... And look the yeah. way I look, I'm blessed, you know. But anyways, I go to the Playboy Mansion. I'm like, holy shit! I'm world champion, 33. I look like I'm 23. I was banging everything. I was there five nights. <laughs> I got down with five different chicks. <laughs> okay, Th- that's not bad. So I go the next time. I go, yeah, about six years later. I stay for four nights. I bang two different chicks. Before not bad. Off. Okay, not bad, not bad. I go maybe six years, seven years later, a little older, retired. I bang one chick <laughs> in five nights. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is, Getting old sucks. <laughs> bad. Bad. <laughs> Fuck that. I ain't seeing 60. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck. I swear to God, the first, night, the first time I went, I was like, every, every chick was all over me. Oh, my God. Yeah, great. I, I was feeling like Joe Studd. Yeah. And then the next time, man, eh, not bad. And then the third time. Wow! Yeah, fuck! Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. getting old. Man. I didn't know you could stay five nights at the Playboy Mansion. We gotta keep working. No, oh you, you, God. you, you don't, you don't think you can. Yeah, because you're not a fucking animal <laughs> like me. That's why. Oh, I don't know. I'd go there and jerk off the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be dropping somebody off. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, you guys are good. You guys Thank are you, good. man. Thanks, Thank you Pat. so much for bringing us awesome. for letting us come here. We would love to actually do it again because honestly, there's just there's so much so, more to yeah, talk about. So many stories. But we got to. Uh, we have so to do the next one. The comedy off. connection. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. We'll, we'll go over to we'll, comedy connection. We'll record. Wherever. Yeah, wherever we go. We love to get a live one. We yeah, can, exactly. We, we can talk about my father yeah. killing a Nazi. Oh, yeah, we'll open up with that. Yeah, we'll open with that. That'll be strong. Some people <laughs> wanted me to. People wanted me to open the movie up like that. <laughs> yeah, for real, they yeah. really did. Yeah, which you know, I get people who want to do Dude, more movies. Cuts to your dad again. killing the Nazi. Next cut, a sperm swimming in his balls. Yep, yep. the fighter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five-time world champ. <laughs> five-time world champ. Matter, <laughs> matter, matter, that's funny. Imagine if the sperm had a little five X on it. Yeah. <laughs> Two gloves. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, can, uh, can sperms wear gloves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they wear the small ones, the four ounce. <laughs> See now, now, now you're getting this human shit. You're taking it too far. <laughs> now you're taking it too far. Perfect time to end it. Right. <laughs> thanks, Paz. Totally. Awesome. Thanks so much, awesome. man. You guys are great. A real thanks, pleasure, and thanks for having us in your home. Great, great. Fight stories, guys. Season two. Beep, beep, beep.